Good morning from Vento Tene and this beautiful hotel on the edge of the sea. Oh, we're just about to have breakfast, but we arrived yesterday um, in the evening. We took a train from Rome and then we got to the ferry terminal. We took a ferry, took about an hour and a half. We got here in the evening and it was so beautiful. The sun is already warm. It's only 8.30, but I'm going to be here for the week. I'm really excited to show you guys, but uh, wow, I look really tired, <laughs> but it's going to be an adventure. I'm super excited about it. I've never been to this part of Italy before, and uh, it's going to be all about sustainable tourism. It's going to be all about eco-tourism here, and we're really going to get a chance to, to see what they're doing to, to support the local community here. I'm excited. Let's eat. Vento Tene is a small island in the Pontine Island archipelago, off the west coast of Italy. It's in the Lazio region of Italy, although it used to be part of the Campania region. So if you've been to parts of Naples or the islands and coastal regions of Campania, some of Vento Tene might look familiar to you. I'm visiting the island on a trip with the Meat Network, which is a network of protected areas in the Mediterranean that are developing sustainable tourism packages that benefit conservation in the parks and the economies of the local communities. I'll link to their website in the description below so you can read more about the awesome work they're doing in this region of Europe. For now, let's get back to showing this incredible slice of Italian paradise. We stayed at a hotel on the edge of the cliffside called Le Padacine, and breakfast was served each morning with the view of the sea and the nearby island of Santo Stefano. On that first morning, while I slathered homemade jam onto my toast, we got an introduction to the week's activities from our guides, Valerio and Andrea, before heading off to enjoy the sunshine for a bit. So we have about two hours now of free time, um, and I'm gonna go to the beach. There's one main sandy beach here, you can see it from our hotel. I'm sure you saw it in the, the panoramic views that I showed you earlier in the video, but uh, it seems a little bit far <laughs> down, so a bit of a mission gonna find out uh, how to get down there see if it's warm enough to go for a swim but first I need to show you we've passed this a few times now coming into our hotel look at the cats <laughs> this cat colony here see the guy right here? he's not sure about me this is quite a steep way down which means it'll be quite steep going back up I think uh, we're going straight for lunch after the beach so I'll have to earn the uh, earn that caprese salad it's also very warm already. Uh, I checked the weather, it's about 25 degrees Celsius, which is almost almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so pretty warm. I hope the sea's warm for a swim. This uh, whole area is protected, so including the, the marine life. Uh, we are gonna be doing some snorkeling later on this week, so I'm really excited about that. We'll get some proper underwater footage then, but I wonder what you can see off the, off the shore. This island is so quiet and so full of birds. I spent two blissful hours in the sunshine, swimming in the sea and relaxing on the sand. It was a pretty great way to start the week. For lunch, we headed to La Terrazza di Mimi, where the views were almost as good as the food. A scarola salad with olives. Scarola is a type of chard followed by a caprese salad made with local tomatoes and buffalo mozzarella made just back on the mainland. Fresh picked basil and bread from the local baker who makes his own sourdough from scratch. We finished with a baba cake soaked in rum and filled with cream. Lunch was absolutely delicious. They told us it was gonna be a light lunch, caprese salad, but there was also a starter. It was a very boozy dessert. <laughs> now we're about to go on a boat, so 
Let's have a look. And so we walked through the old Roman port to the new port and found our boat, which would take us on a tour all around the island of Ventotene. We learned about the volcanic rock that makes up the island. We spotted some beautiful birds. And we also saw Roman burial sites, which have been discovered on the island and can only be seen from the water. When we got back to the island, we took a walking tour around the downtown area where we learned about the fascinating history of the island as a penal colony. In the 1920s, anti-fascist political protesters were imprisoned on the island and lived in these small homes where two men colluded to write what is now known as the Manifesto of Ventotene. Locals helped them sneak the papers off the island and they later became the framework for what we now call the European Union. We finished the day with an incredible meal of locally sourced ingredients, a fava bean stew, zucchini parmesan, and torta caprese, a chocolate cake made with almonds. Good morning. It is the second day here in Ventotene. We're about to have a little breakfast and then today, we're going snorkeling, so very excited to see some of the marine life, learn about things, and I think we're actually going to take part in a little bit of data collection for the biologists, so it should be pretty cool. We hopped in the water and realized quite quickly that we probably weren't gonna get a chance to see much more than a sea full of jellyfish. We did spot some starfish and a few different types of other fish, but unfortunately we had to call it quits early. We headed back to the island to visit what I felt was one of the most fascinating experiences that I had on the entire island. A trip to the Roman cisterns. When I first heard we were going to visit cisterns, I thought it wouldn't be particularly interesting, despite being quite a history lover. However, <laughs> these weren't just pots in the ground. This was a network of tunnels and a history lesson on how 2,000 years ago, water was kept clean and made drinkable how it was collected at the highest point on the island and then filtered down to the homes around Ventotene. After the Romans left, the tunnels became home and refuge to many visitors on the island, and they all left their marks. <laughs> We finished the day with a stunning bowl of pasta topped with locally caught scorpion fish and the most decadent and creamy lemon dessert. I would travel all the way back to Ventotene just to eat this dessert. The next day was all about the birds. Ventotene is a hugely important place for bird migration, and in the spring and autumn of every year, birds traveling between North Africa and Northern Europe stop here in little Ventotene to refuel and rest up on their journey. There's a bird migration museum, and most interestingly of all, a bird ringing station where migrating birds are tracked, weighed, measured, and released back on their way so that all scientists all over Europe can learn what's happening to these birds. 
It was an absolutely fascinating day learning about something I knew almost nothing about. I can close uh, with these uh, pins and all those. <laughs> and then I'm, I can close the ring. <laughs> Without uh, damage, the. Yes, the legs. And uh, it's important that the ring is, uh, uh, can move. And, uh, but uh, he, it. Uh, you can can't lose. Can't, can't lose it. Yes. And then I I look uh, um, the fat and the muscle. Ah, quello che si diceva. Grasso due, muscolo tre. Is fat two and muscle three, and there is a good condition no, for it. There are codes that indicate you the yeah, amount yeah. of. Uh, the state of there. And then I take some measurement and uh, this is a standard uh, so we can um, to confrontare. To match? To compare. Vedi che lo sanno in italiano. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Bellino, ciao! It was our final evening in Ventotene and the best meal was truly saved for last. We headed to Il Giardino one of the more upscale restaurants on the island, and we ate like emperors. First, there were the mackerel balls and the cheese mousse to start. Then we had a salad made with all local herbs and flowers from the restaurant's garden. Then the most impeccable hake, which I have ever tasted, so lightly cured, gave it a firm texture, but it was still soft, almost like butter. The main event was the scorpion fish, which was deboned tableside by this wonderful man and served with a pasta and sauce that was made from a fish stock and it added so much depth I was googling how to replicate it when I got home. It finished with a light and sweet lemon sorbet and I slept like an absolute baby that night. The last morning in Ventotene was reserved for one of the most well-known sites on the island, Villa Giulia. Villa Giulia was a Roman palace and the home of Emperor Augustus's daughter, Julia. Or rather, not her home, but her prison. She was exiled here by her father for alleged adultery charges. But don't feel too sorry for her, since this was her view all day long. She also had several private entrances to reach the sea for a swim, she had a sauna, a cold room, a swimming pool, all to keep her nice and healthy. And she had a whole house full of slaves, not in her own home, of course, to cater for her every whim. It's a sad day. Today, in about 45 minutes, we're leaving Ventotene. It has been such an incredible trip. To finish it with those Roman ruins was so cool. I can't believe how many Roman ruins there are with the cisterns that we went to the other day and then at Palace, and now I'm finishing with this view for you, <laughs> the gates, but this side's nice. And it's sad, but it's time. A week was a great amount of time. <sighs> I'm gonna miss this place. Let's, uh, let's go pick up our lunch and I'll show you a little bit more around because can't get enough. Eventually it was time to catch the ferry and head back to the mainland. The week I had here was packed with activities and it went way too quickly. I wish I'd spent more time enjoying that view, swimming in the sea, holding my face up to the sun, and eating more pasta. I hope you enjoyed exploring the island with me. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an adventure. Next up, we're off to Spain. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!